McEwen, the GPS coordinates 4898 by 32316 on Vinci Ridge, nine miles south of the main town of Ascension. Test Beacon 21 has recorded another occurrence at 0100, and we're commencing the next imaging testing. I'm initiating sequence in five, four, three, two, and one. Mark. The graph's going crazy here. That was another. Ground temperature is rising. I'm getting readings from all over the mountain. We got multiple occurrences in sector seven. Sector nine. Check your vectors, I'm calling control. We have multiple readings, repeat multiple readings on the anomaly. The singularity could be viable. Confidence is high, repeat, confidence is high. Do you copy? <laughs> Come on, boys. Greg grumbles more when he eats chili. <laughs> Back to work. Hey, Thomas. Yeah, Joe. Is this ours? I found it over there by that tree. Never seen anything like it. You trying to get free satellite again or something? You think that could help? <laughs> oh, hey, hey. What the hell was that? All right, get away from the trees. You hear that? Looks like it hurts. Oh, I need a lawyer. <laughs> you know it looks like to me? What? You're spending football season on the couch. Oh, God, let it be eight weeks. All right, I'm gonna get this truck and get you some help, all right? Okay. I hate Mondays. <sighs> Smitty. Oh. Get on the phone and figure out what the hell that was. And don't take earthquake for an answer. No freaking earthquake. All right, boys. It's gonna hurt like hell, so let's do it quick. All right. Just give up. Ready, ready? One, two, three. All right, be careful of that leg. Wait, huh? You are one tough son of a bitch, Joe. Joe! Joe! Hold on a second. What? Joe? Joe! Joe! He's dead.
No, this is regarding the sensors on Lincoln. We think two of the boxes may be malfunctioning. I don't know. That's why I need someone out there. Daniel. Daniel. What? I'm sorry. I'm going to have to call you back. Uh, please just see what you can do. OK, thank you. What is it? Mount Lincoln again. Another 4.3 over the southwest subduction zone. Look at that low-level reading. I knew something was off. It's almost six minutes long. That's not a tremor. It's almost like a slow-moving plate shift. Can that be? Well, you know, you didn't have to hit me with a coffee cup. I'm a human being. I got feelings. Be happy. I couldn't reach the stapler. You know what? I'm going to have to go up there and do some field readings. This is not adding up. Wait, wait you're going to go up there? Yeah. Look, that, the volcano wasn't listed as dormant. It's, it's extinct. It hasn't so much as belched in, like, thousands of years. You never lived up there. Place shakes all the time. May very well have entered into a new phase. I will contact you when I get there. Let Dr. Hayes know. Isn't this a bit rash? I mean, shouldn't you just see if they can send someone out to check? It is going to take a whole lot more than those printouts to convince the locals there is something up, especially their hard-headed sheriff. How do you know that? He's my uncle. So long. Thomas? Hi. Sheriff Crutcher. You OK? Uh, as OK as I'm going to be. Figure anything out? No, no. Well, nothing conclusive. They're, uh, they're going to do an autopsy. That should tell us more. It's the craziest thing, Sheriff. Now, you said that he broke his leg, right? That was it? I, yeah, he got hit by a branch. He got busted up pretty good. But, you know, I've seen worse. We've seen worse. You know, I just want to get him off the hill. I went to grab the truck. And, uh, maybe I shouldn't have left him. OK. Come on. You can't blame yourself. So what, um, you want me to give you a ride home, or? Uh... No. No. You sure? Yeah, I'm good, Sheriff. Thanks. Thanks, sir. Yeah, no, I just, uh, I want to figure out what happened up there. What you got going on here, Pops? I'm not sure. Hmm. So you stopped taking your meds. No, I'm still on them. Well, sort of. Doc's going to love that answer. Well, I'll take them later. I make it harder to think. I need to be clear right now. What's all this? I'm having a, I'm having a revelation, an epiphany of some kind, but it's all coming at me so fast. I to organize it. That research gave you headaches. Yeah, it does. Are you aware that the Dietrich Ice Shield collapsed yesterday? 200 miles of glacial coastline gone? No, Pops, I'm not. Scientists projected it would take 150 years for it to melt away, and it was gone in 10. There are unprecedented hurricanes in, in, in the Atlantic. There are massive earthquakes on the Cascade Volcanic Arc. Uh, even we're shaking more than usual. Something's happening, son. Something bad. Dad, I know you hate them. But, I mean, your meds, maybe, 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 maybe they could bring a little light into the darkness. Dad. You're patronizing me. No, I'm not, Dad. Dad? Have you seen my backpack, the one that holds a sleeping bag? Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, it was an accident on the side today. I'm sorry. 
What is your backpack for? Jared and I are going camping for the weekend. Mount Lincoln? Yeah. Yeah, no, Grace. Just give it a few days. We have no idea what happened up there. <laughs> you can't be serious. I'm talking about a few days. So we figure out what caused the accident. I think I can handle a camp out. Oh, for crying out loud, Dad! Yeah, can you handle that? What are you doing? We're trying to figure... You know what? Forget it. I gotta go. I appreciate the concern, but I'm 20, not 16. Then why are you acting like you're 12? When you can follow your own advice, maybe I'll do the same. I gotta right. go. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Pops. I've gotta get into town. I'm way behind on Monica's books. Yeah, well, no wonder. Dad, your meds. Huh. Give me a lift in your car. Deal. Uh, let's go. I'm still picking up a signal. The terrain's making it difficult to navigate. No, that's a negative. I have no status on the team. Have we heard anything from the rest of them? Hold on. Hold on, I got another quake rolling through. I'll call you back. Professor Thomas. Zoe. Thought I'd come by and uh, wrap up Monica's books while she's way on holiday. I had to come by earlier, but uh, I got distracted. Yeah, the ledger's on the desk in the back. Okay, <laughs> See you later, Thomas. See you, Dad. Hey, Thomas, is, uh, is your dad doing okay? Yeah, I guess. Why? I don't know. He just, I guess he seems um, a little distracted lately. Monica didn't say anything. He's not no, messing up. No, no, no. Gosh, no, no. He's great. I mean, he, I just, I know he's been going through a rough time and everything, and I just, um, you know, I just, I guess I thought I should let you know. Yeah, thanks. And, you know, I really appreciate what you and Monica have done for him, letting him help out around here. I know it's not much, but, uh, I don't know, it's, it's good for him. It keeps his mind going since he stopped teaching. Well, I mean, it's not charity or anything. He figured out that tax thing. You know, who knew a classics professor would be so good at accounting? <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's pretty good when he puts his mind to something. Yeah. Can I get you some neat? No, I'm good. Okay. Rain check. All right, anytime. Right. See you later. Thomas! Emily! <laughs> how are you? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. How, how are you? Good. Good, yeah. But what, what, what are you doing here? Uh, work. Work? Just doing some research. Plus, couldn't pass up the chance to live it up for a couple days in Ascension. You look great. Well, thanks. So, uh, what, what, what kind of research? Oh, basically, um, you guys are just shaking a little bit more than normal. Yeah, don't I know it. We had an accident today during one of the tremors. Uh, one of my crew was actually killed. What? Yeah. Do you know Joe Enfield? Uh, no. Great guy, great friend. 
on the way to see his family right now. I'm really sorry. I, if there's anything I can do. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, how long are you down for? Not long, just uh, gonna take some readings. Maybe we can grab a bite sometime. Um. Yeah, okay. Okay. It's, uh, it's good to see you. Yeah, you too. Here's your sandwich, Professor, just the way you like it. Thanks, Zoe. I'm going to be there. Okay. Thanks. What's this? Self-portrait? Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> this is a creature the Bayans believed lurked in the underworld and would one day rise up and exact revenge on the society. So, I mean, why would the Mayans think a creature would want vengeance on them? Reckon it. Well, what did they do? Every culture has its myths of eschatology. Destruction stories, end of time scenarios. Whenever a society has been close to destroying its surroundings, or, or on the brink of destroying the very earth that gives it life, it's, it's always been stopped short of annihilation by, by outside forces, often beyond our comprehension. The Mayans believed it was this creature, but, but every culture has its own version. Are you crazy? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I hate those. No matter how long I live here, I will never get used to them. Oh, you're drawing! Oh, it's all right. Never mind. Never mind. Getting this? Uh huh. Yeah, something massive happened here last night. Every box recorded it, and there's nothing wrong with the sensors. Yeah, this is not good. And if this thing is becoming active, it's it's not doing anything by the book. It's a complete anomaly. I know. Why don't you try and get infrared from the satellite? Call over to your friend who interns at the observatory. See if they can send one. I'm, there's got to be new lava tubes. The old ones will be plugged. What would you say if I told you there were dead squirrels at my feet? Uh, I'd tell you to watch your step. I'm serious, Mansi. <sighs> it... I'd say it sounds like we have CO2 leaking. All over the mountain. I gotta go. All right, come on, Max. Out you come. There you go.
So this is where you were at the time? Yeah, right here. There was a tremor. I told the boys to get out of the trees. I don't know, Joe and I were looking at a piece of equipment. Then what? Uh, a branch broke off. Came down, hit Joe, but I don't know, he was lucid. He was conscious. Went over to grab the truck, and uh, by the time I got back. So where was he when? Um... Munson? Munson, what's wrong? What's wrong, buddy? You OK? What's going on? Emily. There is a cloud of CO2 hovering above the ground about three feet high. Anything inside it will suffocate. What? Carbon dioxide is leaking from the ground. You can't see it or smell it. You just drift off to sleep. That's what happened to Joe. Now, what are you doing here? Seismic readings are double what they were at this time last month. And then with the surface deformations and now these CO2 emissions, I don't want to be presumptuous, but I think the mountain is becoming active again. Emily, I'm sure you don't remember this, but we had much larger tremors than this back in 84. I have been tracking. And after all that time, the locals got scared and packed up waiting for the worst of the happened, and nothing ever did. Before long, everybody went back to normal. You can doubt me all you want, but there is CO2 leaking from this whole area like a sieve. It sounds like it already killed a man. You have an obligation to keep people off this mountain. Uncle Matt. So now it's Uncle Matt. You owe me one. No, that's a negative. I can't get to the site by the main road. I need you to find me a guide, a local, somebody who knows the mountain. I'm telling you, there is a massive amount of movement up here. Like I said, the ground is moving beneath the topsoil, maybe deeper. It's forcing these fossils to the surface. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming in now. Can that be right? Grace, have you heard this? We're annihilating ourselves and nothing's being done. Something's going to happen. Something has to happen to stop it before, before we destroy the world. Dad, I, I, I just... There are these fragments, right? There's, there, there's, they almost piece together. There's the, 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 the awakening, the uh, dragon's breath, uh, like, like, like pieces of a puzzle. I don't know what you're talking about. The world is going to push back. It always has. It's been in myth, it's been in metaphor, it's been in the stories. Dad, I... Something is coming. We have to be ready, we have to be prepared. Dad, I just, I have to go, okay? It's, it's, it's like when Tiamat, the embodiment of chaos, opened her jaws to swallow Marduk. And Marduk fired an arrow down her throat and into her belly. It was the only way to kill her. He split her heart in two, and, and, and Tiamat was no more. Okay. Dad, I have to go, but I'll be, I'll be back soon, though, okay? I'll be back soon. What does this look like to you? 
was my lunch. This is a satellite image of the area indicating thermal readings. Tell me that is not a geothermal anomaly. I, they have to be magma pipes. Okay. These are the epicenter locations of the tremors three days ago, then two, then yesterday. Looks like they're moving up the mountain. Exactly. You think the mountain's waking up? I don't know. The thing is, if the mountain really was becoming active, it would have done it already. It would have been very large and very violent, and everyone in the town would already be dead from the blast. But we're not. Yeah, we're not. Which just keeps leading me to the same conclusion. This is a geothermal anomaly, some kind of force or energy that's churning everything up from underneath the area. You're creating new lava pipes, venting CO2. OK, and what would cause that? You don't know. And you're heading back up the mountain to figure it out. Yeah. And you want me to go with you? No. Um. You sure? Yeah. Be careful. Don't push it. Yeah. I'll be fine. doesn't turn me on. Thomas Walsh? Yeah. Hi, Jack Murray. Hey. Uh, I'm told no one knows these mountains better than you do. You know a little? Well, I was hoping you could help me out. Um, I'm with a company that's looking to retrieve some information from one of our outposts. A geologist. Yeah, we had some equipment fail near Vinci Ridge at our uh, base camp. So I'm just looking for a guide. Yeah. <laughs> Today is not the best day to go up that mountain. Jack? Was it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, whatever it is, they can wait. No, actually, I'm afraid I can't. I'm told you're ex-military. You served under Hardin. I am, was. Helicopter pilot, 13. Hardin's a friend of mine, and I called in a favor. He directed me to you. Look, I know it is a strange request, but I need to get up that mountain to the equipment. There's valuable information up there. Valuable to who? Well, until I get to the equipment, I can't be certain of anything. Look, I just need a guide. You're in good shape. Yeah, I think so. All right, leave in 10. Thank you. You're quiet. I'm uh, sorry about the off-roading. It's not that. What is it? I'm fine. <sighs> no. Look, I'm sorry. I promised myself I wouldn't let it bother me. It's OK. What's, what's going on? <sighs> my family is nuts. My brother acts like my dad, and my dad acts like a raving lunatic. Hey. I used to have such a normal family. There is no such thing as a normal family. <laughs> well, there's definitely such a thing as a crazy one. <laughs> 
Look, for the next couple of days, it is going to be just you and me. No brothers, no dads, just us. Sound good? Sounds good. Good. Daniel? Emily, you're not on Mount Lincoln, are you? Yeah, why? Reception is terrible. There's a lot of interference. Did you get the data I sent you? Uh, I think I got most of it, but I have some more troubling information. What is it? There are cataclysmic reports coming in from all over the globe. I mean, yesterday I saw reports of, of tsunamis off the coast of uh, Indonesia. Well, Japan was rocked by an 8.4. I mean, there were devastating tremors from the Middle East across Europe. What are you talking about? Something's happening. It's global. Any commonalities? I checked the lab satellite imaging, and there are strains of heat signatures reaching across the planet. Origination? Ascension. OK, do you have any idea what any of this means? Well, I, I don't You're breaking up. Emily. Daniel. Emily. Daniel. to forgive me. I'm just not following you. It's, it's all significant. Something's happening. Something huge. What? Just what do you think it is? It, it, it's the thrashing. It's, it's, it's some kind of awakening. It's like a life force breathing against itself. I'm very concerned. William, now you and I go back a long way, right? We certainly lived here long enough to survive the occasional rumble. I mean, nothing's changed. But it has, Sheriff. The signs are everywhere. It's, it's all across the globe. Yeah, but that's all part of the natural progression of things. It has been since the dawn of man. No, not this time, Sheriff. The myths are clear. From the depths of obscurity ascends a creature with one purpose and one purpose only. Well, what's that? To destroy civilization. Well, what about Thomas? What about Grace? What about them? I'm talking about everyone. Well, I'm not. I'm talking about your family. I'm talking about your kids. With all due respect, Sheriff, you don't understand. <sighs> William, listen to me. Have you listen to me good. Get help. Take your medication. Do whatever it is you have to do to cope with whatever you're going through. You do it. You do it, or so help me, I'll see to it that somebody does it for you. Careful getting too close to the ground. CO2 is leaking out everywhere. Someone told me it might be a sign the mountains waking up. What do you think about that? Could be. Yeah, it could be. We're getting close. It's a little bit further. Who'd you say you worked for again? I didn't. This isn't a bad idea. Relax. The safest place to be is on the mountain. My dad told me during the massive quake in 72 that half the buildings in Ascension were ruined, but nothing happened to the mountain structures. Good, because I want tonight to be perfect. What? Huh? Uh, nothing. What are you talking about? I just want us to have a perfect weekend together. It has been way too long. And. You know, we're away from your friends. Hey. 
Sarah and Evelyn are my best friends. They're like family. Uh, you're a non-crazy family? Hey, Grace, I, I, I didn't, uh... I know what you meant. I... Look, it's okay for me to say it, but not you. I know, you're right. Look, that might be unfair, but that's just the way it is. I'm sorry. Just no talking for 10 minutes. Deal, uh, totally. Good job, Jared. Don't touch anything. Gladly. What branch of the military are you working for again? What? What branch of the military are you working for? You said you worked under Hardin. What is this? Government contracts? Black ops? You wouldn't know it, trust me. Try me. Look, Thomas, the only thing I can tell you is that we've been detecting seismic activity on this mountain for some time. We set up a team to investigate. We lost contact with them. What were they looking for? These are the coordinates. To what? I thought we were looking for this place. No, that's only part of it. What I need is up there. You need to get me up there. It's about a mile from here. It's a rough country. And I'm not going one step further. Thomas! Em! What? Are you all right? What happened? Yeah, I'm fine. Some boulders just shot out of a rock face I was near, almost like... Where was this? Not far. Who are you? He's a geologist. OK, look, Thomas, we need to get back to Ascension. This thing is going to blow, and when it does, it's going to take everything with it. All right, fine. Look, my truck's not far from me. I'll take oh, you whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Thomas. I need you to guide me up that hill. Look, if she says it's time to clear up, then that's what's happening. Fine. Tell me how to get there. Experienced hikers and climbers have trouble with that area. You're never going to make it. Can't this wait? No. No, they can't. At this direction, a half mile, you reach an impasse. You make it over, you'll be in the vicinity. Good luck. Go on, take it down. Okay. I'm not mad. Promise? I promise. <sighs> Why are you so nervous? I'm not. So, this is the spot? Yep. I used to come here a lot when I was growing up. Yeah, you said that. It means something to you, doesn't it? Well, minus the rain. <laughs> yeah, it does. You know, we've been dating for, for, what, four years now? Yep. And we have known each other since we were kids. 
the second grade. Right, when I asked you to be my girlfriend and you kicked me in the knee. Ah. Like that? Yeah, like that. <laughs> I can't imagine a life without you in it. Me neither. What? Grace Walsh. Will you marry me? <gasps> I wasn't there before. Was that there before? It's worse than I thought, much worse. I know, I got all that from before. I'm closing down the mountain to the general public. That's a good start, but it's not nearly good enough. I need you to evacuate the county. Excuse me? Between the readings we've gathered up there and the ground temperature increasing, you know as well as I do, this is way outside the ordinary. Well, out of the ordinary, sure, but come on, evacuate? There are fissures opening up all over the mountain. Emily, when you lump it all together like this, I know how it sounds. But all this can be explained. Uncle Matt! In 1984... This is not 84! She's right, Chair. The whole area is unsafe. Soil we found up there was littered with hot pumice and ash. Material Mount Lincoln is known to have interlaid deep within its soil, which means it is being forced up from underground. Emily, days, days before Mount St. Helens blew, seismic activity was half of what we're recording right now. Ground temperatures were lower and there were no gaseous emissions. So what do you suggest? Get everyone out, at least 10 to 20 miles away. 20 miles? Give us a window to see what Mount Lincoln has in store. And if nothing happens, what then? Then at least we've taken precautions. But if it does blow, and I think it will, you'll have saved hundreds of lives. All right, I'll make the call. Thank you, thank you. But I truly hope that you are wrong about this. Me too. <laughs> what the hell was that? I don't know. He's alive! Let's just get to the bottom of the mountain. I'm not an iron! Just go, 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 go! Agent Murray, can you hear me? Proceed. I've salvaged a flash drive from the remains of Site 14. The information on the drive is correct. The team discovered the epicenter of the entity. And we are running out of time. We're facing a singularity event. 
I repeat, we are facing a singularity event. What was that? What? Did you hear something? No. Stop it. I, I just, I thought I heard something. What the hell is that? I, I, I don't know. I can... where, where, where's that smoke coming from? It, it must be something that that thing pushed up from under the ground. It... It's huge. I don't know. It looked like it just pushed it up. I... Do you think it's inside? Jerry, Jerry, have... Jerry. Huh? What? Just stay close. I know, I know, I know you don't. Hey. I am not gonna let anything happen to you, but the only way that we are gonna get out of this is that we make it down and we stay calm, okay? Okay. Okay? It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Okay. Let's just, let's get out oh. of here. Oh, my hand. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, are you? Yeah. Okay. Let's get out of here. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, please. We have to evacuate the town. I'm hereby ordering you to evacuate to at least 20 miles outside of the center. Now, I know that we've had, uh, we've had drills like this before. We've had some trembles and rumblers, but this one, although it uh, is not immediate, it is imminent, and we're going to ask you to leave town. So I want you to go home right now, get your kids, your valuables, your pets, get in the car, and get out of town as soon as possible. Let's go. Thomas, Thomas, it's happening. Dad, 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 now's not the time. Look, we got to leave, all right? They're evacuating the town, so get to the truck. We're leaving. What about Grace? We're going to get her at the house. She's not there. She's already gone. She's gone up the mountain. Now? Why would she do that? Because she has no idea all this is going on. All right, I, I got to go up and get her. Well, she could be anywhere. I know. She'll be at Hudson Clearing. It's where she's been going since she was a kid. Yeah. What well, can we call her? There's no reception. All right, Dad, listen to me. This is important, all right? I need you to go down to Olympia. All right, go to Aunt Evelyn's house. We wait there till we get back. Thomas. No, Dad, Dad, this is not up for discussion. I'm gonna go with you. What? No. I'm gonna go with you. You sure? Yeah. All right. Get your gear. Thomas. I want you to take this. No, Dad. Your, your, your mother gave this to me years ago to protect me. I, I, you should it's keep a it. sacred piece from the Payula tribe. I want you to take it. Dad, you keep it. Come on. Thomas, please. Just wear it for me. All right, all right. All right. Olympia. Aunt Evelyn's. Please. Got it. All right. What is this? The sheriff is evacuating the town. Evacuating? Where am I supposed to go? You can come with me. We'll figure the rest later. Professor, this is crazy. Zoe, we have to go now. Grab your things. But, uh, hold on a second. I gotta do something. Zoe! How far away is the clearing? A little bit further. What the hell was she thinking? She's young. She probably just wanted to get away. Away from what? <laughs> Her understanding older brother. You went away, too, if you don't remember. Yeah, well, military is my only option. Well, Grace was still really young. She had to grow up faster than you, faster than all of us. I know your dad probably can't be much help. Well, he still has plenty of good days. Just 
Never got over losing mom. Deep down, I'm sure she's scared to death to see him this way. Yeah, well, I don't really understand it either. I mean, I understand loss, I understand grief. I just, I don't know. Seems like he can't handle reality, so he creates this world that he can live in, control. Is that why you left? No. Maybe. I don't know. We had planned to go away together. Remember? Sometimes things just don't work out the way you planned. I set up my leg on the impasse. Told you it was a bitch. Yeah. Think it's broken? No, I don't think so. Can you stand? Yeah. You got it? Yeah, I think so. I need to get back down the hill. Sheriff's evacuating the whole county. No, I can't. What are you guys doing back here? Looking for my sister. You need to get to a hospital. I need that case. Jack, you can barely walk. Thomas, you know what it's like to follow orders. Do what you told in order to save lives. That is the situation I'm in. I need that case. What is so special about this case? Yeah. All right, look. We're headed that direction. If you can keep up, and if we pass by it, we'll grab it, but that's it. No, no. We need to get Grace and get the hell off this mountain, not chase down equipment. What is this about? I'm not sure. Coming from the section. Zoli, I cannot stress the urgency of this situation enough. We have to go. But I can't just leave this here. It's my responsibility. It doesn't matter. We have to go now. It's not just a piece of equipment. Well, what is it then? That's a million dollar question. What's the government doing up here? You don't want to know. Well, why are you up here for geothermal anomalies? Or is it something else, something you're doing up here? Jack, you asked for our help. Fill us in. Why are you up here? Six months ago, my office recorded a subsonic boom in the Pacific Ocean. Russian, Japanese, American subs, they all picked it up. Exactly the same time, a similar sound was heard at eight different locations across the globe. The strongest source was traced back here, specifically a mile below Mount Lincoln. Why don't you hear it? It's completely subterranean. It's likely you felt it and never even acknowledged it. We picked up a spike in our seismic readings about six months ago, but we recorded it as a sensor glitch. We picked up the same glitch a few days ago. It wasn't a glitch. Every one of my teams recorded the same thing. Then why weren't we warned? About what, Thomas? A big boom? We sent a team to investigate, 
and gather information. They were trying to confirm the possibility of a singularity event. What the hell is a singularity? A singularity is an event that can single-handedly change the course of life as we know it. A volcano? No, not quite. We believe that an event of this magnitude occurred 30,000 years ago, and again, 15,000 years ago. We believe it's gonna happen again, right here. This case is... I, I need this case. Hey, you okay? You okay? I don't want to die. Hey, we have come too far to lose each other now, okay? My dad was right. He told me that a monster was going to destroy the world. All along, he was telling me that something was coming, but I thought he was crazy, so I left and I didn't listen. All we have to do is just find a way out of here as soon as possible, okay? I know. into a sinkhole. We're buried underground? It looks like it. Well, how far down are you? I mean, what caused this? I'm not sure. Where are we going to get out of here? We have to Zoe, get out. Zoe, you have to be calm. You have to stay calm. Calm or trap. Zoe, Zoe, you have to be I need your help. You have to be strong. Okay. okay. <laughs> Take cover. What is happening again? It's, no, it, it's, it's, it's just an aftershock. No, it's collapsing on us. No, I, no, no, it, the diner's intact. The diner's intact, Zoe. We have to... We have to find a way out of here. My cell. There's no signal. How can there be no signal? Zoe, Zoe, stay calm. No, You've no, got to no. stay calm. We'll find a way out of here. I'll go. I'll go check the back. You check the back. I'm going to check the windows, okay?
There it is. All right, I gotta go down and get it. No, we gotta get Grace and get out of here. We're not gonna make it. What if Jack was right? Even more reason to get moving. What if that's the only thing that can stop it? It doesn't matter. What if it does? I was right. I knew it would come. Professor, are you freaking me out? I knew something was happening. I just didn't expect it to happen right under our feet. What are you doing? I think it's gone now. It's displacement. What's what caused the diner to collapse? so hard, was it? Science has identified it as carbon dioxide. Myth and reality have become one. A couple more pieces and we've got it. <laughs> Zoe, 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 no, Zoe, Zoe, stand up, stand up. You have to stay away from the windows, you have to stay away from the ground. Professor, what are you talking about? Zoe, you have to concentrate. It's carbon dioxide, it's invisible, and it's heavier than air, and it's deadly. And it's seeping through the windows. If we don't be careful, we'll suffocate. I mean, do you think that's gonna hold? I don't... No, yeah, yes, 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 for now. But we have to find a way out of here quickly. Find us a way. Place the climber's graveyard. It's hopeless. Everything's blocked. died, I, I just shut down. I couldn't teach. I, I couldn't do anything. 
All I could think of was fate and destiny. I did all that research on ancient myths and folklore, trying to find a meaning for it all. We were trapped inside that car. She, she died right beside me. There was nothing I could do to save her. I had to find out why. Sometimes, sometimes there's a second chance. Do you understand me, Sophie? Yeah, I understand. Step. Stay to the side. Everything okay? Be careful. Oh, God. <gasps> <gasps> is jammed tight. I don't understand why this is happening. The world is tipped too far in one direction. The great flood, the plague, disease, famine, they're all modern forms of the world keeping itself in balance. Sometimes the damage is so severe, it takes a force so, so dominant that mankind simply has to pay attention. A behemoth so foreboding that the only way to stop it is... What are you saying? This is a creature that, is a, that has existed before history, before time. Risen from its slumber when the world is at, at its worst. On, on the brink of annihilation. It's as if... It's as if we're in the belly of the whale and the only way out is to go through. There is a way out. Oh my God, the hatch! <laughs> you found it. We can climb through that and get to the top of the to the top of the diner. Let's go to the ladder. <laughs> Gotta stay with me, okay? We have got to get off this mountain. Can you do that? Okay. All right. All right. This is a sat nav map of Mount Lincoln. This heat signature must be the creature. It's all Mount Lincoln. Where are we supposed to go? We're gonna go down the southern ridge. We hook up with the Lockman Trail. 
be able to get over the ranger station. Why there? Forest Service uses it as a spot by our landing zone. Should be a helicopter. What if there isn't? There will be. Shouldn't we just hike it down? You really want to hike back down to that mess? No. We're going to get away from this creature, OK? All right. All right, come on. Let's go. Let's go. go up first, I'll help you up, and then you pull me up after. No way, there's no way I can lift you up. You have to go up first and then pull me up. Okay. Stay with me. Zoe, Zoe, open your eyes. Open your eyes. Are you all right? All right. Let's see. Come on. Oh. Oh. Careful now, careful. That's it, that's it. 
how to fire this weapon. Get the chopper started, all right? I don't know how! How many times did I take you flying? A long time ago. Turn on the battery switch. Turn on the fuel switch. Hit start. Introduce fuel. Stay with her. Take the intake off. for you. Exactly ideal conditions. Shoot it. It was the only way to kill her. Fired an arrow down her throat, slit her heart in two. That's it. That's what Dad was talking about. 
What? What? He told me how to shoot it. He told me how to shoot the creature. What? What, Grace, what are you talking he about? He told me how to shoot the creature. He was talking about a, a Marduk or something. No, no, it was a demon. Demon, the embodiment of chaos. The demon opened up its jaws around the Marduk, and then it shot an arrow down its throat into its belly and it slit its heart in two. What does that mean? It slit its heart in two! Ah, hell. It's like I'm after me. this <laughs> you did it son we did it <laughs> oh, <God>. oh. <laughs> so so think you might hang out in ascension for a little while Get out of here. <laughs> 